Welcome to Trash to Treasure Terrace video one. This one has to do with the plants that we are growing. So we'll start out by looking at this big hazelnut bush here. And between it and the Japanese maple, they shade two of our honey berries. Here's our honey berry right here. Behind it, we have a gooseberry. In the front, we have Thai basil as well as shishito peppers. We have lemon balm some hostas on this side. We have some tansy, shishito peppers. This is comfrey right here with the broad leaves. Here is our third honey berry and shading it is our service berry. On either side of the house in raised beds, we have hostas, hostas are ed edible. On this side underneath the tree, we have some spearmint. And in this little bed, kale, shishito pepper, as well as Swiss chard, shishito peppers, and Thai basil on this side. And our fourth honeyberry is right here. Turning around, we have some decorative ferns, as well as more hostas, which are edible. Now we'll go to the backyard. Here is the backyard, and we have a lot of decorative plants over on the left-hand side. We have a smaller hazelnut bush under this tree here. This is a plum tree, which provides lots of shade for this part of our backyard. Go this way, we have oregano, catmint, chives, mountain mint. We have some lemon sorrel and kale here. Go this way. We have some more lemon balm. This is the wild corner where we kind of let things have their own way. But we also have some Swiss chard and some dill. Here is our fig tree turning around this way. We have a garden bed with leftover collards and Swiss chard from last year. In the cold frame right now, we have what's left of winter rye as a cover crop return. We find more Swiss chard and lemon sorrel. This right here is a currant bush. Turning this way, we have basil, Swiss chard, and kale. Here's one of our blackberry bushes, and it grows up against the tree. On this side, we have fragrant spring tree. As you can see, there are some fresh leaves up on top. And these younger shoots taste like roasted onions. More lemon balm down here. Growing up this gate trellis, we have some old fava beans as well as some newer cucumbers. And in front, basil, tomato, and a hybrid pepper plant. Going back this way, this garden bed here we have a lot of marigolds that self-seeded, one cantaloupe, three hybrid peppers, and two tomato plants there up against the back. In this raised cinder block garden bed, we have three tomatoes in the front and two hybrid peppers in the back, as well as some cucumbers growing up the trellis and some cantaloupe here in the front. Next to the compost growing up this is more cucumber. Coming back here, we have lemon balm and kale. In this garden bed here, we have two hybrid peppers in the front, some cucumber growing up the trellis. We have two tomato plants back here, as well as one Swiss chard from last year. Here is our second blackberry bush. Underneath it, we have some flowers and some basil. Right behind the blackberry, we have an espalier grafted apple. Each of the forearms are a different variety, so it cross-pollinates itself to save room. Behind it, we have asparagus. Coming towards this raised bed here, we have three tomatoes and one hybrid pepper hiding in the back there, and there is a trellis there for the tomato. Down here we have oregano, 
Over here we have some comfrey. And in this bed, we have horseradish in the back with the big leaves. We have some leftover peas towards the bottom. We have a tomato plant, as well as some Swiss chard. And that's our yard. Sustainable backyard tour.